Hi guys, today we're talking about two popular steps in Oriental dance, Suharizaki and Hagala step. Let's get started with Suharizaki. Well, how do I explain the basic Suharizaki? First of all, bend your knees, stay on both feet, release your upper body and keep your hips on one level. Now, I will start pulling my hip to the diagonal down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you imagine that it's one horizontal line, you move only downwards. You don't move up. So there is no uh, hip pull up. You just pull it down and not just down, but even to the diagonal. So you need to work both with your hips and with your obliques. Every time you make the move, you stretch your oblique a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your upper body in a neutral position. Uh, don't help uh, to execute the move with your shoulders. Here you are totally relaxed. You just move your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that uh, is clear. So we will continue. First of all, uh, you can do Suharizaki move with relieve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you see, I do not uh, straighten my knees till the end because I need the space uh, to work with them. If I straighten, I cannot really continue it. Otherwise, I'm looking like a penguin. So to avoid that, just bend your knees a little bit and now start working with your hips. So every time when you're um, finishing the, move, the movement, you will bend your knee a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. If you want to um, increase your flexibility and to stretch your obliques a lot, then just keep on doing this move on flat feet. It's really a very good way uh, to work out your muscles. Now, I will continue with the shimmy on top of Suharizaki move. That's actually uh, the favorite variation of um, this move for many dancers, not just for me. And uh, for sure, you use it a lot in your dance. So let's just uh, work on it. I do shimmy only that, the, on that leg where my weight is. So if my weight is on the left leg, I don't start shaking my right knee and on the contrary. So I feel the weight on the left leg, shimmy the ear. On the left, on the right. On the left, on the right. Shimmy. What type of shimmy uh, do I use here? It, I use both types of shimmy. Uh, hip shimmy and knee shimmy. Actually, I use more hip shimmy because as far as I'm not straightening uh, the knee, it's a little bit more difficult to continue. Just, yeah, like I'm doing it, but to make it stronger, I will use even the hip shimmy. One, two, three, four, and release. Now, relieve, and you do the same move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Note that you are not putting your legs widely, so you will not have very wide position. And besides, your, knee are, your knees are straight. So don't open your knees without, like, no, don't create this kind of uh, circle. They are quite close to each other, then your move will look elegant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Now let's practice it with music.
guys i hope you like the class and please don't feel discouraged if you couldn't do one of the moves because you just need the constant practice and take it easy practice and practice and practice again uh, remember to breathe remember to release your upper body it's very important because when you have strong moves with your hips if you keep your upper body tensed you're kind of stealing the part the power and you are not able to perform the moves with uh, of your hips with such a strength as you can do when your upper body is relaxed so just remember that and i'll see you very soon